हेलो गाइस सो आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो फैमिली टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द 70 इयर्स ऑफ चाइना पाकिस्तान रिलेशंस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द फैक्टर्स दैट बाइंड्स द टू कंट्रीज टुगेदर एंड वी विल आल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट द टू फ्रंट वॉर सिचुएशन दैट हैज प्रिवेल्ड विद इंडिया इन नदर्न फ्रंट एंड द वेस्टर्न फ्रंट so friends this is a very good topic a very hot topic for upsc prelims mains cds cpf and as well as it is very important for ssb interview so friends let us start recently on 22nd of may 2021 it marked the 70th anniversary of diplomatic ties between china and pakistan friends the china and pakistan they had established their diplomatic relationship in the 1951 the republic of china which is also known as the people's republic of china it was established in 1949 after the victory of communist party of china in the country of china friends the china became a communist nation after a very big communist revolution which started in early 19th century and finally the republic the people's republic of china as a communist nation was established in 1949 and pakistan was one of the democratic countries which initially recognized the communist china in 1951 both the countries established their diplomatic ties to celebrate the 70th anniversary the pakistan prime minister imran khan he inaugurated the karachi nuclear power plant which was built by the aid and assistance of china and also some developmental projects of china pakistan economic corridor cpec had been laid down friends for this particular topic the china pakistan economic corridor i have already made one video i will pin the link of that video in the description as well as in the comment box apart from that one great leader of china he had said that our relationship with pakistan is like deeper than the oceans higher than the mountains and sweeter than the honey the same dialogue it was reiterated repeated by the president of pakistan on the 70th anniversary deeper than the oceans higher than the mountains and sweeter than the honey iska matlab hamara rishta samudra se bhi gehra pahad se bhi uncha aur honey se bhi meetha hai we have seen that pakistan and china they have always supported each other on international forums we have seen how china saves a lot of terrorist such as masood azhar hafiz said from being designated as a global terrorist from the united nations china also rescued a lot of terrorist organizations such as jais e mohammad laskar e taiba from being a global terrorist organization by supporting pakistan in the united nations apart from that china and pakistan they have a very deep economic ties pakistan it can be said that pakistan has put all their eggs in one basket and that basket is china pakistan is fully dependent on china in terms of economy the cpec the china pakistan economic corridor which is the main pillar of the one belt one road initiative by china the cpec it will connect the xinjiang province of china to the arabian sea it will facilitate china for importing oil from the middle east countries such as saudi arabia kuwait iran the china pakistan relationship it is a very famous discussion in india the china pakistan friendship has been the cause for much discussion in india and it's seen as an intense strategic challenge which has only been intensified by the cpec friends we know that the cpec which is passing through the india's territory and that territory belongs to jammu and kashmir the gilgit and baltistan because currently it is occupied by pakistan which is also known as pakistan occupied kashmir so china and 
Pakistan, so China and Pakistan, they are building roads, railway networks through the Indian territory. India always object this step of China. The Pakistan was one of the first non-socialist states to diplomatically recognize the PRC, People's Republic of China. Friends, do not confuse between the People's Republic of China and the Republic of China. The Republic of China is called as Taiwan in the global world. Since our independence, India and Pakistan are enemy of each other and at the same time, China and India, they have become enemy after the Indochina War 1962 and the China had occupied the Tibet and since then Indians know that China is not a friendly country for India. The expansion of Soviet Union in the 1960s and 1970s was one of the reasons that both the countries came together. While the Soviet Russia was expanding its territory up to Afghanistan, so China had a kind of fear from the territorial expansion of Soviet Russia. So that's why China wanted to use Pakistan as a buffer state which will act as a boundary between the Soviet Empire and Communist China. What are some factors? The common factors, the mutual benefit factor that binds this country. The first one is China's self-defined border and territorial integrity. So we know that the Xinjiang province of China which is Muslim majority area and we all know how China is behaving with its minority especially in especially with the Uyghur Muslims a lot of Uyghur Muslims they are involved in anti-government activities in China and hence to stop the radicalization of Uyghur Muslims and stop terrorism both the countries have come together one time some Uyghur Muslims they were operating terrorist activities living in the Islamabad. The Chinese government, they passed the order to the Pakistani government to hand over those terrorists or militants to China. Second important thing is that the neighboring country of China such as India, Russia, Mongolia, Japan, China has border dispute with all these countries, especially India. The India is the only power in Asia which can give competition to the People's Republic of China. And keeping India in its mind, they have established a very good relationship with Pakistan. Friends, this is here the Malacca Strait. It is also called as the busiest sea route in the world because about 30% of the global trade passes through here. It is the connecting point between the Indian Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. And more than 50% of the trade happens with this route. China import oil from Saudi Arabia, Iran through this route only. So to overcome its dependence from Malacca Strait, they are working on the CPEC so that they can secure their energy needs of the future. This will become a very safe route for China to import crude oil, natural gas from Middle Eastern countries. Now talking about the conclusion of the China-Pakistan relationship, in conclusion, China pursuit of good relations with Pakistan goes much beyond the territorial dispute with India. India is not only the sole region that China and Pakistan are good friends, but there are so many other regions such as controlling the terrorism, radicalization of Uyghur Muslims in western province of China and securing the trade routes, overcoming dependence on Malacca Strait and start a new route through the Arabian Sea from the Gwadar port. Friends, Gwadar port is a very big investment of China in the Pakistan. Pakistan's economic weakness and political instability. We know that Pakistan is a rogue nation. So many times in the global forum, Pakistan has been criticized by many countries. But it is only China who protects and saves both economically and diplomatically to the country of Pakistan. I have already mentioned that China always try to censor against the state-sponsored terrorism by Pakistan into India. A lot of terrorists such as Jaisa Muhammad, Masood Ajhar, laskar e taiba Hafiz Saeed, they try to sponsor terrorist Mujahid into India. And that's why 
China always try to defend all these terrorist activities that are done by Pakistan into India. So now the concerns for India. India must be prepared for the two front war, one from the northern front and the northwestern front. Both the countries, China is a giant country with a huge military. China has the second or third, China has the third most powerful army in the world and Pakistan army is also not weak. So definitely it is a big threat to India. India must invest more and more in the advancement of military equipments. We need to purchase highly technological drones, aircraft, weapons, missiles to protect our nation. So this is all in this video. I hope you like the lecture. If you like, then please share and subscribe.